Red Bob the orangutan wants to eat 90 bananas each day, eating an equal amount for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He does this every weekday. How many total bananas did Fred Bob eat during his breakfasts this week? Ah, okay. Pause. Rewind. Fast forward as you need to. You do not need to do a word problem at the same pace that I am. That's the wonder of video. You're going to learn at your pace. 90 bananas across three meals having the same amount each meal. Okay, that means we are going to divide. Anytime you hear those key words about an equal amount or having to share an equal amount, anything along those lines is a clue that you are going to divide. 30 bananas for breakfast, 30 bananas for lunch, 30 bananas for dinner. That's 90 divided by three. And if you really need to pause on that one, go for it. Nine divided by three is three. That's where we are getting this answer from. So he has 30 bananas every weekday at breakfast. How many weekdays are there? Well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five. He has five breakfasts this week. So he has five sets of 30 or what are you doing? You're multiplying. And that's just a shortcut for addition. It's 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. Five times 30. Well, five sets of three, that's 15. So 15 tens or 150. That's how many bananas he has during his breakfasts this week. Okay, those numbers are ridiculous. So let's do something even more ridiculous. Okay, the chicken gets 500 socks every year on her odd numbered birthdays. She's 60 years old. How many socks does she have? That is a heaping amount of socks. Well, we have to assume that these socks never wear out. She keeps them even if they get old and threadbare. In any event, if she is 60 years old, how many odd numbers are we talking about between 1 and 60? Okay, well, let's think about this. The odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 18, and it just keeps on going. You get where this is going, absolutely. I know you do. You're smart. Yep, that's right. There are going to be 30 even numbers. They're going to be 30 odd numbers as you march towards 60. All right, so we have 30 odd birthdays. That means there are 30 different instances where she got socks. And how many did she get? 500 socks on every odd numbered birthday. So the shortcut that we really did here is we said 60 divided by two is 30. Evens and odds are a pair. And that is the sneaky way that we did division here. You don't really have to technically do division here. You can just again count out all the odd numbers, but that takes too long. The shortcut is to say, okay, evens and odd numbers, how many do I have? Okay, divide, because they're a pair, divide 60 into two equal parts. Ah, 30. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. 500 socks every odd numbered birthday. That means 500 by 30, because she's had 30 odd numbered birthdays. Well, what's five by three? Yeah, 15. So 500 times 30, that's gonna be 15 thousand 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 that is a heaping amount of socks k has fifteen thousand socks mega kitty brought six thousand pizzas of eight slices each to the water polo league the three thousand members were hungry so how many slices did each member eat these are ridiculous numbers. Pause, rewind, fast forward as you need to. Let's press on. 
6,000 pizzas. Sharing this amongst 2,000 members. Ah, that's our clue. We are dividing. And each pizza has eight slices, so we're going to multiply. We're going to do both operations. 6,000 divided by 3,000. This one's easy. What's six divided by three? Uh, yeah, it's two. Three plus three is six. So six divided by three is two, or 6,000 divided by 3,000 is two. Two whole pizzas per member. That's a lot of pizza. These folks are gonna have really, really, really full stomachs. Each pizza has eight slices. So you're talking about two sets of eight slices. Ah, two by eight, that's your multiplication. Two times eight, 16. Each member gets 16 slices of pizza. Mega Kitty should have brought the gator because that old greater gator always eats the bigger numbers. In fact, if you want a bigger, a longer, more action-backed episode, you need to join the greater gators class. There's a link below for your mom, dad, or Uncle Bob in Peru. See you next time. God bless. Watch the dog found 10 neutron stars with 10 no million electrons each. No million, no million. Huh, I never know which way to say it. But Spots is a resourceful dog. He was able to evenly divide the electrons into 20 large duffel bags. So how many electrons are in each bag? Well, Spots, if he has 10 neutron stars with 10 quadrillion, I mean, oh, excuse me, 10 no nillion electrons each, that means he's got 100 no nillion electrons. Wow. And he's gonna divide that up into 20 large duffel bags. These are massive duffel bags, as you can imagine. Okay, well, 100 divided by 20, that's easy. That's five. So he has five no nillion or non nillion electrons in each of these extremely large duffel bags. Yar, welcome to the bonus section. Oh snap, Pirate Sam. He stole five million tokens of gold on the first